So guys, welcome back to Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes with Solo and Pixie. Um, yeah, we need a shovel and honey, and um, let's find. Well, we'll see what we will find first. But I think the cellar was here, so let's go to the cellar door. But it looks locked, so well. The cellar door could only be opened with the correct key. Okay, let's destroy the cellar door. The cellar door could open. Okay, let's go to the cellar window. Oh, just a shovel. A shovel? That's exactly what Lily needed. But she'd never get to it from here. Come on, she can. The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. <laughs> Lily knew that this device was called an air hammer, but she didn't know why anyone would want to hammer air. Okay, so oh, I don't can... the idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. What else do we have here? A can of food. The idea was okay. good. Digested grass, rat, pigeon. Lily assumed these cans were meant for the cafeteria. Um, yum. A brush was lying on the shelf directly below the window. Lily just had to reach out. Okay, let's take a brush. And we've got a brush. Lily couldn't paint. She would always start crying. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, well, what else do we have here? Too bad. The faucet was dry. Hmm. Garden hose. Oh. There's another garden hose, so... Where could the hose lead to? Um, bush. Lily would have also made a good bush. She could stand on the sidelines for hours without anyone noticing her. Lily was excited. Mm -hmm. Where could the hose lead to? What a surprise. The hose led to a uh, um, thing. <laughs> a pump, okay. Lily, turn that off immediately. Oops. Okay, let's take the hose and put it towards a pump. Nice, okay. Um, well. Oh. Okay. Mother Superior. Let's go to the well. Let's see what we have there. Freeman. Gordon Freeman. Lily's fellow student Freeman was bent over the edge of the well. If he moved forward just a little more, he'd fall in. Just like in Lily's favorite book. <laughs> um, we found honey, kind of. That's what we mean, and... Come on. Go find another place to play. How sweet. Apparently, Freeman was worried about Lily. Oh, said that it didn't work. Um... Let's talk to Freeman. Uh, hmm? Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. What's inside a well? Uh, Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Something is down there in the well. I can see something sparkling. Oh, man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. That would be so gumbo. Gumbo. What the hell is gumbo? Uh, <gasps> Let me guess. You don't know what gumbo is, right? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Guys as cool as me say that's totally gumbo. Or that gumbo. <laughs> but you're just lame. Totally ungumbo. Oh, well. Haha, <laughs> YOLO, Alter. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't 
you have anything to do? Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. You're such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs. What is it this time? Do you have to alphabetically sort the compost again? Or remove the hair from her back? Ugh. Don't tell me. You're supposed to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. The swing tree's made of sweet licorice. And termites are known for going crazy over candy. You'll never manage it. Well, we'll see. Let me guess. You have to dig up the flower beds, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. That's gonna take forever with your little girly hands. But don't think I'll lend you a shovel when I get into the cellar. That is, unless you do want to help me get the key from the bottom of the well. Uh-uh. That's what I thought. Because it's forbidden, right? Oh, man, Lily. You're so straight, it's a miracle anyone can tell you apart from the trees. Um, common rules. Um, yeah, common rules. Um, is this gonna be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? I'm so interested. Celebrate. We we're not allowed in the cellar. Jeez, Lily, you're like a broken record. We can't do this. We can't do that. Don't drink motor oil. Don't play <laughs> with the electrical sockets. You really know how to spoil all the fun. No wonder no one likes you. Well then. What now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh so great mother superior forbid that too? Uh huh. Oh yeah. That just proves how absurd adults' rules are. Um, sell a key for what? Really, Lily, stop talking so much. Unless, of course, you have an idea how I can get the cellar key. Just think of all the things I could do with it. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Not just junk like shovels and brushes and all that. I'm talking about real treasures. Okay. Um... So I gave what? You can blab as much as you want. My complete attention is focused on the cellar key at the bottom of the well. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Okay, I'm the convent rules uh, again. Is this gonna be another yeah, one? Yeah, we had that. The well is deep. What? You're still here? Don't creep around like that. I almost fell in the well from fright. <laughs> oh, how cute. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna climb down into the well. But not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. Just because it really is too dangerous. Oh, really? Although... The well is too dangerous. What? I know that Mother Superior doesn't want us climbing into the well. Why don't you tell someone who cares? On the contrary, that's almost an incentive. I'd do almost anything to avoid becoming such a conformist little robot like you. Climb into the well. Um, um, I said get lost. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. Okay. Um, well. Let's go back for a second. <laughs> hey! Help! When Lily returned to the well, Freeman was gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lily! God. Help! Lily heard strange noises from the bottom of the well. But she was a good little girl, and she knew she wasn't supposed to play near the well. Just like Freeman, she had even told him so herself. Where could he be? Yeah, where could he be? Bees nest. Lily liked bees. Their buzzing was so sweet, and they were always so busy collecting honey. And if you look closely, you could even see their stingers twinkle cheerfully in the sunlight. Okay, um... The Let's... idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Okay, um, I think we should help Freeman. Here, Freeman. Oh, ah, what's going on? <laughs> Lily, no! Go away, go away! I'm allergic! 
Oh, don't oh, cry. No. Clumsy Lily had actually dropped the bee's nest into the well. The bees didn't like it too much either. Their buzzing sounded different than usual. Well... Like I said, I already played like the first one hour, so I know what to do. Uh, well... Let's drown the guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this game. Um, switch on the pump. Lily! Yes. Nope. Turn that off immediately. But did I not tell you exactly what you should be doing? I just c c can't believe you keep finding new ways to disappoint me. Lily didn't understand what she had done wrong. Yeah, I mean we are. We need to, to make the flower beds. In order to do that, we need the shovel. And uh, to get the shovel, we need to go to the cellar. And for that, we need a key. So, I mean, we're just doing what she said we should do. Oh. Freeman. Freeman was a little grumpy, sure. But he looked so funny with those red dots and yellow honey stains. There was no way this could last long. Hello, Freeman. How are you feeling? Um, ah, Lily, thanks a lot for your great help. You really did a fantastic job. If I can ever help you... Uh. Oh, you want the cellar key, but of course not. What in the world are you thinking? You're the one who got me to go into the well. It's your fault that I fell in. But instead of helping me get out, you throw a beehive on my head and nearly drown me. Look at me. I'm wet, covered in bee stings, and smeared from head to toe with honey. I know everyone thinks you're sweet and harmless, but you're actually a walking disaster. You can definitely forget about the key. You keep away from me. Okay. Well, or it could be business. Lily was proud of herself. She had found a way to get to the beehive. And the bees still seemed to be fine. Everyone was happy. Um, yeah, I think the bees are dead. But, well, let's get some honey. Okay. And I can't go to the school, or can I? Lily wasn't allowed into the convent until the gardening had been done. Okay. Hopefully it wouldn't start hailing again. <laughs> well... Um, yeah, we've got honey now. So... Maybe we can do something with the termites. Termites, come on, lick the honey. The termites responded very excitedly to the honey. To lure them away, Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on. On the compost barrel. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the termites to. Lily started right away. So far, the plan had worked well maybe a little too well. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Ah! <laughs> no, don't get away! Strange sounds were drifting towards her from over there. It was probably the termites celebrating their new home. Um, let's go to Freeman. Let's see how he's doing. Freeman had now left for good, but at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. And as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. Well... Okay, um... We killed Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like the termites had found a new home.
and one of the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Too bad that Freeman was no longer here. He would probably have liked it too. Of course he would have liked it. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Let's go... Oh no, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go back. We forgot something. I mean, he dropped the key. Nice. Freeman had left the cellar key for Lily. How nice of him. How nice of him, yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> and, well, in the next episode you can see what's inside the cellar. So you already saw, but, well, we'll get to it. Bye-bye.